Hi, this is Eric Martin. We're Board Game Geek. I'm here with Tom, Tom Donnellan with Square Shooters. And I was hoping you could just give an overview of the, the system. I know we got dice. Right. We got cards on dice. Cards on dice, right? The, probably the most overdue game invention of all time. Uh, dice have been around for a thousand years, but you, or cards have been around for a thousand years. Dice maybe eight. And someone finally put the cards on the dice. And she did it in a functional manner. The inventor, Carmel and Calvert, uh, came up with a way to script the layout of the faces that was patented in 2011 with the ability to achieve every four of a kind, every rummy run, every straight flush, every royal flush. Right. So now the dice are functional. She knew you can't publish a deck of cards on dice if the dice couldn't be used to play card games. Wow. So. It's possible. It's possible. So we got started two years ago with our first title, which is essentially a poker matching game. Uh, for 60 years, uh, casual game players have said they love poker matching through games like Yahtzee and Greed and others. So we had this opportunity to make that dynamic more authentic by asking the player to shoot for real poker hands. So in two years, we've sold about a quarter of a million copies, actually. We're in Walmart, Walgreens, Target, and really feeling like from a casual gaming standpoint, that game has you know, real good traction. The trick is, what do you do next with a property that's so versatile, with cards on dice that can reinvent so much of gaming? And our choice is to not be Microsoft and not try to publish something and, and pitch it to the gaming community. The dice are just too versatile. So we've opened up a game design forum at forums.squareshooters.com. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we've started inviting uh, you know, the community to come together to talk about how they want to use cards on dice. And Eric, we're going to light that up with a contest this fall in October. Uh, where, where we're going to invite contestants to compete for a grand prize that includes publishing the game in partnership with Game Salute and uh, winning two grand plus an assortment of other cool category prizes. So, so any guidelines to it other than just use the dice or is, is that it? That's the main guideline. There'll be rules published on the contest page which will be that's how I roll dice .com. Okay. That's how I roll dice.com. We'll be publishing, that page is up and running as a coming soon uh, placeholder, but, um, but we'll have uh, the full rules published by September 15th. Okay. So. All right. All right, great. Is that, that's it, I guess. You want a quick demo of the dice? Or? You can do a demo here. We can do the game as well. All right, super. So the dice are um, just, it's, it, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? So every four of a kind, any time, you need to achieve a four of a kind for any rank. Those four cards are always on a separate die. But what's even more remarkable is that there are 40 straight flush combinations, 40 of them. The inventor knew that if she could only script the dice faces to achieve 39, you can't tell your friends, I made a dice game that can almost play poker. <laughs> so 40 of them, uh, you know, that includes every rummy run, right? Every royal flush. If I take away that ace and add the nine, that's a straight flush. Exactly. So sometimes you can get more than five in a row, but the trick was five, and so so it's always five in a row, and that's what's patented. And so this opportunity to recreate uh, the history of card play, many many card games, not every one of them obviously, but to turn a lot of card play favorites into the action of dice is uh, is what is what Square Shooters represents. So how do we actually play? What are we? Oh yeah. So, so we got the as far the, as our first title, our original title goes, you draw a game card on your turn and the game card assigns you uh, a poker matching task. Okay. Uh, you can either choose the type of, or you can shoot for the type of hand shown and win something, or you can trade up and try to win an exact match and double your score. Okay. So it's a little press your luck dynamic. Uh, it's great to play with kids and families because if you're not hedging, it's pure chance, right? But we've baked in this ability to hedge and, and sort of try to grade your, you know, move your score up to the higher score. So tactically with party gamers or you know, um, folks that want to have a little more sophistication in their game, we've given it that texture. Okay. So, eight rounds, the winner is the one with the most chips. What you do with the chips between rounds is your own business. You know, of course we wouldn't encourage uh, betting, you know, but, uh, but some do, I hear, so. All right. All right, well thanks very much for the overview. Thanks, And Eric. we'll hear more details, I guess, of the contest as you get closer to October. Right, that's how I roll dice.com is where uh, folks can find the info. Thank you. All right, great.